Hey, hello and welcome back to Hogwarts. So, I am going to go to Herbology. Uh, greenhouses. Um, I'm gonna see if my plant's ready. I'll pick that and then plant some more. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Uh huh. Oh, it just keeps growing. Huh. Okay. Um, now I wanted to go. Oops, not there. Now I wanted to go to potions and see if I can. Brew some stuff. Because I've got another quest from the potions teacher. Is this the classroom? Um. Maxima potion, visibility potion, focus potion. See, I need to make that. Purchase from J. Pippin's potions. Okay. I wonder if I can get hogs made. make a lot of those. Okay. Let's see if I can go to Hogsmeade. Where's the Ben's potions? Okay, and then I'll buy those two potions, or three potions I think it is. Have them and then go back to him and then we'll go to flying class I think I think that's what we're doing hello there in the market for potions are we uh, what can and... I do for you today oh you can actually purchase the recipe I might just purchase the potion for now. Do I have a Maxima potion? I'll get this. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell. Um, it's easier if I just go like this. I've got an Endurance Maxima and now a Focus. So I've got to have these two at the same time, I think. Mind you don't knock my potions. Definitely you can afford to replace them. Um, so I think that quest was done. Quiet and use a focus potion. I've got to have the other patient too. Excellent. Okay, so now can I get the patient's class? Um. Oh, this flu powder is coming in handy. <laughs> like when I go to somewhere new, I'm still going to run there, I think, because then you like discover stuff. 
path is so intimidating. How are your assignments coming along? I'm done. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. I like Not how they feed you the um um like spells, so you don't get like overwhelmed at the start. So that's You've got cool. it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Pavelio. Professor Sharp's Aura Badge. Aura is comprised of the Ministry's magical law enforcement and protect the wizarding world from all sorts of threats particularly those posed by dark magic. This aura badge belongs to Professor Sharp. Um, so I've got to put it on my thing, don't I? Um, how do I do that again? Which, which spell is it? That one. So I'm thinking these can be my attack spells. And I might use this one as my utility spells. That's cool. Okay, so now cool wests. Oh, I still want to do that. Um, I still don't know where that is though. So let's let's go to flying class. I want to go to flying class. We can do the other one another day. Is that a door? Where's... Where's number two? Oh, it's up there. Okay. I think this is the first door that I tried to open, but I was still using the 1 to 10 thing instead of um, 0 to 9. Um, so 0, 1, 2. So 21 take 11 take 2 is eight so zero one two three four five six seven eight 
Spider. And then we have 17. Take that one. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. And take nine. Uh, three. So zero, one, two, three. So to dragons. You think Garrus the wings? Eh. Why does the ministry require animagi to register themselves? Cool. Okay, now off to flying class. Flying class is this way. the shits <laughs> ah, it's a little bit funny oh, I get to go outside are we going to the Quidditch pitch no doesn't look like it we're going right here fall from their broom first Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? <laughs> now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay. Are we flying through the hoops? Good. Now. For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. Oops. <laughs> this is brilliant. Can I go faster? Oh, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Okay. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. A 
out of you. Hello. Nice day for a flight. I gotta change <laughs> control. I've got this. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Oops. <laughs> Brilliant. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Um... Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. So you really don't use your mouse to steer nice at all. To get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common yeah, windows. Yeah, I've got to change this control. <laughs> Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know: lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? <laughs> There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Plaintiffs and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. How do I dismount? Oh, B. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Well, there was no um, choice. That was some rather good flying. I had no choice. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. 
It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. I gotta buy a broom? Off on another adventure, are we? Um... Where to now? I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Yes. Because then I can me in the seventh oh. floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies away from prying eyes and distractions. Ooh. Um let's go to Pippin's. And then if I get enough money maybe I can buy a broom. And then we'll go see S Sebastian and then Mrs. Weasley. Thanks, Mead. Here I come. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. No, I can make my own. Room? Oh, that's what she meant. Oh, now I've got a flight test. Um... You need a day delivery? Hello, you need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Okay. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Um, I wonder if I can just steal the invisibility potions.
That's quite a ways away. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Oops. I didn't mean to knock down your gate. Sorry. Guess we can kill some spiders. Oh yeah. Is simply too many. This is a Merlin thing. What do you have in store for me this time? Oh, I never did do that other one. Should investigate. Oh, there's more. He is there. Oh, my God. <laughs> Cow. Room to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. That's that. Settled. I don't really. Like, apart from XP, I don't know what that does. Um... I have a lot of quests now. So what did Sharp just say? Acquire and use an invisibility potion. Acquire and use a thunderbrew potion. Did I click on... I clicked on something else, didn't I? We're going there! Why don't you have a little peruse? Mallow, sweet leaves, and moonstone. I can get all these. I can purchase a mandrake. Huh. Appreciate you stopping by. Oh, actually. Be sure to visit me again, won't you? Gonna visit you again right now. <laughs> um, I might 
might sell this stuff. More than happy to purchase that. Good to have stock, I always say. I'm pretty sure I'm wearing... I cannot thank you enough for all you did to get my carts returned to me. I've been painting and painting. Incredible how such darkness can inspire such beauty. Oh, I can... Ooh. I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, be sure to visit me. Um, I can change my glasses. Why don't you have a little peruse? Um, and I'll sell that. Thanks. Appreciate you stopping by. Uh, be sure to visit me again, won't you? Uh, I don't want to kill the doggies. Is that? Did that dragon just scoop up a cow? <laughs> wow. That's a hippogriff. Oh, this place is massive. Oh man, I should have been doing Revelio. Wait. Thanks. Wonder who lives here. Hippo. You can't imagine. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Revelio. Keep in Keen's Bridge keeps a stock of ginger root handy to fend off his customers' nausea and keep them in by embidding a bit longer. Well, what's with the Maryland thing? I didn't see anything happen when we sprinkled the leaves on. Revelio. Always late that pippin. <gasps> the tilted house. The locals call this the tilted house due to the odd angle at which it sits wrapped in the roots of the overhanging tree. So I saw another boulder. I've been here by now. Madame Luong, 
I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. Ha! <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. <laughs> Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Okay. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. She wasn't even watching. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. <sighs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Um, no, I didn't want to do that. I want... Yeah, that's what I've got on right now, isn't it? Equipped item. Okay. I got confused. <laughs> um. I need two. No. One that I've got on is better. Okay. So I'll sell. I'll sell this stuff to nice her. Nice to see you again. Likewise. What can I help you with today? I wonder how much a broom is going to be. I'd like to ask you a few things, if you don't mind. What would you like to know? Oh, well. Would you mind telling me a little about Keenbridge? You've likely heard talk of the thieving troll that unfortunately settled in the area. Been terrorizing people. Robs all who pass by. So you'd be wise to remain vigilant whilst travelling near Keenbridge. You would not want to come face to horrid face with that monstrous thing. How did you come to live here in Keenbridge? I've only been here a few years. Used to sell my wares as I travelled. It was an exhausting life, but I never minded it. One day, my travels brought me through Keenbridge. I fell in love. Though my travels continued, my heart remained here. So I eventually returned and opened this shop. Been here ever since. I shall live out my days here in Cambridge if I have any say in it. Which I suppose I do. Huh. What sort of things do you sell? Potions. I brew each one myself, using only the finest ingredients. I assure you, you won't find their equal anywhere, even in Hogsmeade. 
What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? I'm um, just selling. Thanks. This will do just fine. Thank you. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. No worries. Um, so where... Where do I have to take you? sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Okay, so I have to take it here. I don't like my chances. Target you. Oh, unless I can use that other spell that I just learnt. Can I use this spell? Dude was like made of steel. <laughs> and all in one. Yay! Merlin himself would be proud. a pleasant enough little place. Chess. It's not Rebellion. what I wanted to do. Beehives. The wizarding world needs honey for their tea as much as the muggle world does. And there's another chest over here. Oh, there's more chests. I just want to go buy my broom. 
Oh, I can't get in there. Come on. Yes. Can I go in here? No. Um. Okay, so I've done that. What other quests did I have? Oh, I've got to go return to him. Okay. No. <laughs> I'm going to go that one. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Um, okay. I have to remember what we were doing. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Cambridge. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? Wow! I thought I was going to be able to use that potion book. Yep, she doesn't deserve it back. It. She doesn't deserve to have it. I appreciate what you're saying, but you have much to learn about respecting the property of others. Some things are sacred amongst potioners. I shall return it to her immediately. Maybe they'll get on good speaking terms now. Um. Yeah, I still don't know what I want to put my talents into. Um, okay, so where do I buy a broom? Is that a broom? Beast supply. Nope. Oh, so it's there. Wonderful. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes cause you to close spin witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. I'm nervous about how much brooms are going to be. I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew wand's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. 
Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Hmm. Okay. Time or truth. Sounds quite the alright. They're gonna be like five thousand dollars. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Oh. Oh, six hundred. Six hundred. Six hundred. Six hundred. 600. Um, so they're all 600. So that's, that's easy. And uh, broom is built for stability. I wonder if you're going to need like a type of broom for a type of thing. I want to go with the U. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Nice doing business with you. No, same to you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that oh. will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Um... Sounds as though you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Um, I never knew you could have such a long conversation about brooms. That sounds <laughs> intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once a you special beat Imelda's price time, be sure to let me know. Would be um free. I wonder if that is like different for everyone. Because like admire, I'm in Slytherin. Do people in Gryffindor see a Gryffindor outfit? Oh, I've got to unlock that room of requirement. Candles. 
Oh my god. I where they're heading. I wasn't looking for candles. I just had to be in the right place. The candles seem to be leading into the forbidden forest. All around here. I suppose the picnic in the Forbidden Forest could seem romantic to some. Huh. Hmm. Treasure hunting suits me. Um. Maybe it had to be night time? Because I ran all along there the last time. Um, yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, I've done that quest. Um, light test. I guess so. I'm actually, can I change? These things are so loud. Okay, so let's go do this flying. Whoops. Flying test. Um, I think there's another Marilyn. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. I just have to shoot the things again. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Goblin talking? Made a mistake. You're the little son that saved the sled world. Stop messing around like a penny wing. So they weren't goblins. Revelio. You dropped something. Combat is fun. I wonder if you have like a inventory limit. Oh, 
Oh, that's Hog's Breath. I mean, not Hog's Breath. <laughs> I mean, Hogwarts. hadn't cancelled it, we wouldn't be looking for the blasted thing Come in the on. first place. Where are you? Revelia. You're saying it wrong. Ugh. Revelia. <sighs> Much better. Oh, shut up. Wait. Accio. Ugh. He's ruined my entire school year. I hope a puff skin goes up his nose and snatches his brain. It had poisoned the poor beast. What sort of headmaster doesn't allow sports? Deserves to be an Azkaban. That'd suit him. Oh, if Black was an Azkaban, I should pity the Dementors. The man has no soul to take. <laughs> Besides, Azkaban wouldn't suit Black. Not enough mirrors. <laughs> oh, I drew a word for never spoken. I just love all the conversations that you stumble in on. It's amazing. It is a shame that they didn't put Quidditch in the game, but you know, there's always a DLC, I guess. Brim talent. Hello, Melda. Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Yeah, you sound jealous. Someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. <laughs> Ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Slytherin. Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Okay. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Do I have to get these bubbles? <laughs> now that's more like it. Oh, no. No. I feel like this would be so much easier with a controller.
missed all of those. How long is this course? Oh, I meant to go up. This is rather fun. I might um do that with a controller from now on. Oh, that's not you, you must have cheated you. Oh, fine. You won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible. But you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. Okay, so now I have to go back. Yep, I'm definitely going to use a controller next time. It is hard with the keyboard. Can it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Um, where was his shop? Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm. That's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine, says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to them. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Okay. Um... Oh, what quest do we have now? A Thunder Brew Potion. Okay. So, if we go to the potion place again. In the market for potions, are we? What can I do for you today? I want a Thunder Blue potion. A 
was a wise decision. Thank you. Uh, I wish I didn't buy that. Um, so now I have to I use to it on Farewell for now. And then an enemy. Um. Ooh. Rebellion. Butterbeer barrels. These barrels contain the popular wizarding drink butterbeer. It is served both cold and hot and has a slight alcoholic content that seems to impact house elves much more than humans. Well, there you go. I didn't know that. Um, okay. So if we... If we... Let's go and leave. Where's that place? The old fool. Um, oh, d d Oh wow, there's heaps of Merlin trials. Um I'm just trying to think where are enemies? That's Keen Bridge. There's the Dark Forest. Forbidden Forest. Yeah, let's go there. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Okay, so there's an enemy up here. So was that all the thunder and the lightning and stuff? Was that from the potion that I drank? This wooden statue bears the likeness of Pangur Dune, fearless, feline, mouse hunter, and devoted study companion. they still haven't made up. <laughs> oh, I've already been in here. I 
still can't believe that. I've always said that travel always Have you finished your assignments? I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. <coughs> Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. <coughs> Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Hmm. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the classroom, for your sake and that of everyone else. Um, go we'll add the dummy. Um, so I'm going to get this one. to have a student who actually heeds instruction. Okay. I'm like smashing out these quests. Um What? Oh, we get to learn a curse. Let's go there. I wonder what curse we're gonna learn. Spare a moment. I could use your help. Okay. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. What's that? They're adorable. Why would you be afraid of a puff scheme? They seem adorable until one sticks its tongue up your nose. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. <laughs> Kids are so clever. Yeah, that's a little bit funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I do not have to admit that. Everett said the same thing. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. 
Um... What sort of plant should I expect in the hidden herbology corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Mm -hmm. uh, I am not doing that first. I am going... and learning... a curse. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. And we went. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Sure they don't. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Huh. It's a cupboard. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play Govstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. So we're going to learn take the a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is confringo. Oh no, do that one. Okay. We drew a Z. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Okay. Stick to the targets, though. Uh, that one. 
best to keep the undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it! I think I've got it. And the loot. Well done. Revelia. More loot. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I never paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ramrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. Um... No, do you know what? I think I can trust him. He, like... Totally took the fall for me, so... You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, yeah, I'm I don't not know. entirely <laughs> certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Okay, that was fun. Um, so I think... A room of requirement here. Yeah, we'll do that and then I think we'll call it an episode there. I've been trying to keep the episodes to like an hour and a half, but it's not working. I'm just love playing this game. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. Uh oh. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? 
Um... That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. He kind of reminds me of Draco. <laughs> Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Oh, I'm sorry, Sebastian. I kind of knew that was going to happen, though. <laughs> I tried to lie. Apparently, you can't lie to a blind man. Um, let's go to the room Ooh. around the pillar. Let's go to the room of requirement. Oh, does that dude have a quest as well? No, must be on a different level. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Yeah. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Okay. Hey. Oh, I'm pretty sure I've seen that. Okay. Not right now. Oh, is it like right there? No, not right now. We are going to the room of requirement. Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard! 
I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Another new spell. Oops. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Um. Excellent work. That's You'll cool. note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? I don't know. Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Okay. A. I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you'd expected. Let me know if you want to try and meet again. Sincerely, T. Who's A and T? Revelio. I didn't miss anything. Dear me. Rebellion. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Oh, I see. Um, I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Nah, we'll be fine. An intruder! Stop them! Revelia! 
That's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. <laughs> Bit offended. The room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. <laughs> This is pretty. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? What was that? What? Was that a golden snitch? What? Where? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> So I gotta move it all the way out of the way. Rebellion. I hope that house self can find us in here. Come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed, it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. 
Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Do you reckon he's related to Dobby? yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. Yes! One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You can use it to reveal the magical properties of unidentified gear. Can I do it now? You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Okay, but... I don't think it was better. Oh my god! <laughs> the desk of description will come in handy it will i hope you'll take advantage of it now i'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring the room might not provide everything you need on its own conjuring yes the magic of creating or conjuring objects i'll teach you oh another spell okay Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. 
Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You oh can God. indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Conjure a potting table. Scientific potting table with a small pot. Botanical potting table with a small pot. Let's go that one. I don't want to conjure another one. Um, Whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Oh, I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Can I learn it right now? I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the Ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Oh, it has. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Okay. I thought I was gonna like learn another 
table or something. I don't know what I'm doing. Um. Oh, I can't do any of those. It warms my heart to see your interest in pathology, dare I say, blossom. Wow, there's a lot of mirrors. That's what we got. I wonder if I can expand this room. Are these statues that I've found? Deke has good work. Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Okay. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Oh, I need more spells. Okay. Oh, whoops. Um. How do I change the color? Nicely done. 
Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. better. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Um, moonlight, natural, dark and mysterious. I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. Ooh, oh, I like it. <laughs> mm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. What's happening now? even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. That's cool. I need to get some mellow sweet. So I could conjure in like a whole pile of these tables and have everything doing its Deke thing. Thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Oh, I wanted to ask you questions. Actually, perhaps another time. Never mind. Okay, Deke well... Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. We now have a room of requirement, which is pretty cool. 
Okay. Well, that is it for this episode. It is a long one. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm having so much fun playing this game. So it's, it's yeah, it's really fun. It's addictive. All right. Well, you guys have a fabulous day and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you.